In Daeya Township in Myanmar, 40 miles southwest of the biggest city of Yangon, a group of women who survived Cyclone Nargis were interviewed by the Oslo-based pro-democracy TV station Democratic Voice of Burma. They say no rescuers have come, that they were promised rice that has not arrived. One woman speaks of her pregnant daughter-in-law falling into the water and being swept away. She says they searched for her, but there are so many dead that it is difficult to recognize loved ones. Others chime in that some people lost their entire families and are homeless. When asked if there is an organization helping with relief efforts like Firefighter or USDA to pro-government junta groups, the women say no. Survivors were straggling into the rice trading town of Labuta from flooded areas, many injured. But Labuta offered little relief, with food, clean water and medical aid in short supply. More than 60,000 people were killed or are missing in the densely populated delta, which sits just above sea level, and as many as 100,000 are feared dead. Meteorologists say the storm, which gathered strength in the Bay of Bengal and whipped up 120 mile per hour winds, took an unusual track heading eastward into the densely populated delta region, where a quarter of Myanmar's population lives. Survivors say that up to two-thirds of the people in their villages had perished. Debris was piled on the streets and roofs were torn off. But many buildings were still standing. The town hospital was devoid of first aid supplies, medicine or other medical equipment and no doctors were in sight. The United Nations World Food Program said its first flight carrying aid landed in Myanmar on Thursday after the military regime gave clearance to receive relief material. Meanwhile, two Indian naval ships carrying emergency food and medical aid reached Yangon on Wednesday. The deliveries are part of a global aid effort to help survivors of Cyclone Nargis.